Hey babies, Hi. I'm back. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I have my Arizona tea. It's time. We have a different backdrop. I'm sitting on my bed today just because it's lockdown. I didn't want to like go out of my way and make some bullshit backdrop. So this is what we're dealing with. The bed. Good stuff. Okay, so today's video is a little bit different. I have been telling myself for the longest time I'm going to put myself out here on YouTube. I'm going to post more about things that I really want to talk about. And so that's exactly what this video is. It's a pep talk, okay? You don't have to be a guy or a girl or a fish or a squirrel. Ah! <laughs> you can be whoever. I'm just here to give you reassurance. I'm here to remind you if you found this video, then it means that your soul needed it. You needed this. And I hope you stick to the end of the video. And if you like it, I hope you give it a thumbs up and let me know if you like this kind of video or whatever all right without further ado let's just get into it by the way the necklace i'm wearing is from my brand luma studio which is launching october 7th which is my birthday and i'm doing custom jewelry everything is super good price and yeah i've been working on this for the longest time i've had such a um, rocky lockdown i went through a really crazy breakup and so many things have changed in my life so I've been going through a lot, but this has been something that has kept me happy and motivated and wanting to keep going. And so I would love it if you guys would support me. And you can customize your own jewelry and everything, so that's that. Also, if you want to follow me on my main Instagram, this is my main Instagram. But anyway, let's get into the video. I want to give you guys advice, okay? This is a pep talk. Okay, so this video is the self-love pep talk that you need, okay? Listen up. Now, I have five little steps here, and I just want to go through them really quickly. I don't want to ramble on too much, but I just want you guys to really hear what I'm saying and to really feel what I'm saying. Um, okay, so number one, it is not that deep. Okay, we're all going through something. There's seven billion people in this world. I struggle with things every single day. I cry sometimes, I feel hopeless. Girl, life is a roller coaster. Okay, just because somebody is pretty, just because someone's more popular, just because somebody has more money, doesn't mean they're not going through something. However, so we've established that. We've established all of us watching this video um, are sort of going through something right now. We might be stressing about something. There might be something that we want. There might be something that we lack. It is not that deep now hear me out now all that bullshit that you hear about like you know wake up and listen to affirmations you know meditate like blah 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 do this do that it's all true it's all about raising your vibration okay so you might be going through things and the reason why you feel so you know out of energy you feel so um low and you feel like you're just living in this funk is because your vortex of energy around you is low you're living in, you know, lack and unhappiness. And that's where the feelings of anxiety and fear and all these just low, yucky feelings are coming in because you're living in that. Now, you want to raise your vibration. This is going to change your life. I don't care how cringe it sounds. It's true. All you can do is try it and then come back to this video and comment when you realize that is all you needed to do. What I mean by this is you need to do little things and take the steps that it takes to raise your vibration every single day now little things you can do to raise your vibration wake up and do positive affirmations there's so many amazing videos on youtube for this i'm going to link um my favorite videos for this in the description um these are a few of them i just you know you listen to it and listen to the affirmations so i recently went through a breakup and obviously a breakup is a roller coaster and you start to feel undesirable you feel unworthy you feel like that person might replace you and maybe there's better out there and everything you know what i realized i realized you know what i was listening to affirmations usually i used to think this stuff was all bullshit but a lot of it stuck in my head and there was this one that just rings in my ear every day now and it was I am thankful for the love that is everywhere it's everywhere the same way that I found that relationship that I stayed in for years um, out of nowhere that love just came into my life like that 
is the same way that more love will come into my life. And love is everywhere. Love is in my friends. Love is in the energy that I have in this apartment. It's in my family. It's in everything. Like it's in my neighbors sitting around me in the different apartments. Love is everywhere. And if you let yourself vibrate high, you will realize that love is everywhere and you will attract things. You increase your magnetism by doing things like meditating, listening to positive affirmations, you know, exercising, moving your body, all these things that everybody says makes them feel better works why don't you just try it like I know it sounds so harsh but why don't you just get up off your ass and do it and discipline yourself and listen to affirmations and meditate and just try okay it's not that deep if you let go of everything it's actually very simple I'm stressing about things that are out of my control I need to let go how can I let go how can I feel better I need to raise my vibration. How can I do that? Meditate, affirmations, move my body, have a routine, stick to it. 30 days and you'll form a habit and I think you should be creating habits that make your life better. Okay? Now, two, by raising your vibration, you attract. I highly believe in the law of attraction. I've been getting into it a lot lately. And I believe that when you increase your vibration, you become a magnet, you attract all good things okay this is what I mean by this right so just purely an example okay so somebody that you're talking to that you really like ghosts you they're not talking to you anymore okay they don't want to speak to you if you're sitting there and you're living in this vibration of lack and need and begging and feeling like oh my god they're never gonna talk to me again like this is horrible my life is a mess my life is over you are just vibrating in that lower vortex of energy and that's all you're attracting is literally all the negative things. You keep reciting negative things and thinking about negative scenarios, so you're just attracting negative things. However, if you demolish that, if you get rid of it, if you vibrate high, if you're taking all the steps, like I said, that it takes to raise your vibration, you're meditating, you're listening to positive affirmations, you're hanging out with friends, you're doing things that make you happy and you're realizing I cannot control this other person and I can't sit around here in this negative energy because that does nothing for me. I'm wasting my time. I'm going to die one day and I'm wasting my time. When you realize that and you let go is when you start to attract better things and good things. You know, when you're vibrating high in self-love and enlightenment and you're raising your vibration, which is really not that hard to do, like I said, just take a few minutes every day. Girl, read a book, you know, like really push yourself, watch videos like this video. Everything about you becomes magnetic. You draw everything in. You will attract that person that's not texting you, plus so many other people as well. That's just the way it is. Hey, <laughs> things will never be the same. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? You feel my drift? Like, once you raise the vibration, you increase your magnetism and you attract everything that you want, you know? Like, you go for a job interview, for example. Just like I said, what are you going to do? Come home and cry about, oh, I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to get it, it's not going to happen. If you trap yourself in this negative vortex of energy, that is the reality that you are manifesting to come true. Now, thoughts become reality, okay? Let me say that again. Thoughts become reality. So what you think is what will happen. The thoughts that you have literally make the reality of your life in the future. The future is untold. You don't know if you're not going to get that job yet. And you don't know if that person is going to eventually text you back or not. So what is the point of sitting at home festering in these emotions when you could just let go and you could just raise your vibration and think of all good things? It's easier said than done, girl. Trust me, I know that. But with practice, I've realized that doing this only benefits me. There's just no point in dwelling over things that you can't control. The future is not written. You are still alive, heart beating and everything. And anything can happen. And everything will happen if you just let it flow and you let go of the outcome of the scenario. Okay, number three. The only thing that matters is you. Oh my god, I'm smiling so much because I just really hope that this video, you know, helps someone out there and that you guys like this kind of stuff. Let me know anyway. But anyway, number three, yeah, the only thing that matters is you. What do I mean by this? You are the only thing that matters. Now, everything in this world doesn't matter. 
you have to remember that and it's so hard to think like that because it's so easy to fall into this place where you start to believe that everything is real like I know that sounds crazy because obviously you know around us we can touch everything we can see everything um, but you are actually just a soul in this body this body is just a vessel for your soul to be here experiencing things and all that matters in this world is your soul and your experiences and the reality that you create for yourself so everything external those people being mean to you you know the job that you hate um, your partner your family your friends Yes, these are things that um, influence your life, that make you feel emotions, they make you happy, they make you sad, but they shouldn't depict your life. They are not you. You are what matters. You are the most important thing in your life. This is your movie. When you watch a movie, the main character is the most important thing. You're not watching the other characters. It's the main character and you're the main character of your movie and you need to start remembering that. You need to stop bending over backwards for people. You need to stop enforcing things that you don't like to happen because you are the only thing that matters in this movie. So you should start treating it as important as that because a movie doesn't last forever and your life does not last forever. So, you know, if you could play your life movie to yourself, do you think you'd be happy with it? And if the answer is no, I'm bending over backwards for people and I'm doing things that I don't want to do and I'm not my happiest self, then you need to make a change because you are the only thing that matters and your happiness matters and you're the only person that's going to change that. Okay, four, um, everything is you pushed out. Now, what I mean by this, I always say this to people lately, I always say everything is you pushed out. Coming back to what I was saying about, you know, manifestation and everything that you think becoming real, it's true, everything is you pushed out, you know? Um, everything that's happened in your life, whether it's conscious or unconscious, has happened because you manifested it, 100%. 1000% and I'll give you an example so I manifested my car recently and I know this sounds insane basically I was in a place where I really couldn't afford the car that I have now and but I would watch all these videos and I would read all these articles how to manifest a car and I really didn't have the money for it at all not even close not even a quarter of it but I decided I wanted to try and like finance a car and I wanted to see if I could you know find a way to like make the money or get a loan or something long story short I got declined from four different banks for a loan and I also um, got declined from the dealership nothing was working I bro I tried everything but I still in my mind felt like I'm gonna get this everything is me pushed out so my thoughts and my thought process if I keep sitting around here thinking this is impossible it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen but if I sit here and I live in the end and what I mean by living in the end is like living in the scenario where that thing has already happened and in my brain I was driving and I was thinking I'm driving the car, you know, I was driving my little Toyota, but I was thinking I'm driving that new car, that brand new expensive car that I want. I'm driving it and I have the car now. Everything is you pushed out. Everything that you want is already out there. How are you going to grab onto it? It's actually easier than you think, much easier. It's all about your mindset. And this is what I mean about this is the pep talk that you need. You need to realize that all of this stuff, all the cringe quotes that you see out there about, oh, change your mind, change your thoughts. Bro, it's true. It's true. Be careful about the things that you say, you know? Don't put yourself down. When you talk to people, don't say, oh, you know, like, I, maybe I can do that. Just say, no, I want to do this. I want to get into this thing. I want to do this. And I want to get that car. And I will. Because you will, because everything is you pushed out, it's all accessible, everything is possible, nothing is impossible, okay? Realize that. Okay, number five, probably the most important thing, to be honest, um, is you need to let it go and detach. I don't even care what we're talking about here, you know, there might be a hundred people watching this and every single one of those people have a different scenario that they can think of when I say let it go and detach. It could be somebody waiting for a text from someone. It could be somebody that is just really stressed out about a situation, anything, a job, you know, university, like a friend, literally anything. Let it go. Detach from the situation, okay? 
The most important thing from this video that I want you to learn is that when you sit down in a negative vortex of energy, when you sit in all of these emotions of fear and lack and you know, you're begging the universe, you're like, why, why can't this happen? Why is this happening to me? Nothing is happening to you. Everything is happening for you. And that's why you need to vibrate higher and you need to realize the universe is kind. It wants good things for you. Do you realize that you are so special? You are watching this right now, alive, heart beating and everything. You think that you're not special and that this is happening to you? No, it's happening for you. Everything, absolutely everything is happening for you. So that's why it is so important, it's so bloody important that you realize that and you let go and you detach and you trust the universe. You don't even have to be religious. You don't have to be spiritual. You just have to believe. You have to understand. It's a fact, you know? People always ask me like, how are you so spiritual? How, how do you just believe? It's like, I don't need proof. The proof that I need that the universe is by my side and that things are happening for me, not to me, is just the fact that I'm here. Heart beating and everything, alive. And I'm able to experience and wake up every single day. And I have my moments. Sometimes I feel great, sometimes I feel sad, but every time I feel bad lately and things don't work out, I realize that it is literally just because everything is happening the way it needs to and this is something that will bring me something even better. So somebody breaks up with you, you know what that is? It's just something even better coming back. Whether it's the same person but a rebirth version of them that values you and respects you or it's someone even better that ticks all the boxes. If you get fired from your job, you lose your job or you know you fail a test or something, all of those things might seem in the moment like it's happening to you and it's horrible and the world is against you but it's not like that it's all making you stronger it's because something better is coming for you there are so many scenarios where this is just inevitable you know so many people's stories that you see like angelina jolie i think she got um declined so many times for different movies but it, it just it was a matter of just that one going big and she's one of the biggest actresses now um so many things like this you know happen and so you need to let it go. You need to detach. When things happen to you, always think about me saying this in the back of your head. This hasn't happened to you. It's happened for you. And you will soon understand. But sitting around in a negative vortex of energy and beating yourself up over it, thinking the universe hates you, does nothing. It wastes time. And time is all we have in this world. We're not going to be alive forever. So instead of seeing things as horrible and jumping tragedy to tragedy every single time something happens, why don't you see it as something, it's like a ladder. You're going up. You're going up higher. Okay? I really hope you guys like this video. I really want to make this a series. I, I want to keep doing pep talks. I want to give you guys advice. I want to, you know, lift you guys up. And yeah, there's just so many things that I want to talk about. So I'm so excited to be doing this. And I'm so excited to be here giving you advice. But yeah, listen to everything that I said, okay? You got this. You found this video for a reason. And now it's time for you to go vibrate high and create the life that you desire because it's all possible everything is possible nothing is impossible okay love you so much and i'll see you very soon